So no boy can page when my sister me that a page a type of boy, boy from six. No man from six can page me. None. Viewers and subscribers, footer hype, disrespect, squash, six boss, and also tag beanie man in the post. Aishana, black and delete massacre of Instagram, and she also black footer hype as well. And last but not least, spice this up some people who watch her user because she give her bags and stuff through her Grace Hamilton Foundation or Woman Empowerment Foundation. I should have said so. We're going to kick it off with footer hype, this six boss. Tag Beanie then quickly regretted it. Puta Hype appears to have this, the six bar squash, when he posted a video tagging Beanie Man but then quickly regretted it. Dancehall selector Futa Hype says he is not concerned about any backlash that may come at him. Following a doctored video he posted on Instagram which appeared to be intended at hurting an embarrassing six bar squash. Futa Hype removed the video not long after but not before many people had viewed it over and over. According to Futa Hype, contrary to what fans are saying, it was not out of fear of evoking the ire of the six why he deleted the post. The video showed Squash in a small doorway which was crowded with young men seemingly at an event looking on. Squash steps back and end up accidentally collides with another young man who was also standing behind him in the area. However, the video is put in slow motion, making it appear as the artist Squash was causing up with the youngster for a long time. The footage is then spliced with totally unrelated clip of Popcorn laughing and then another insert of a young man laughing and saying, You a fish! After removing the offended post, Futa Hype later uploaded a video of Chronic Law of the six performing on stage in Geisel in St. Catherine. Futa Hype said, Big up to Chronic Law for the speech. No bullcat thing around here. You are the real six. Futa Hype posted. But followers on Instagram claim that Futa, who has a history of labeling female artists as fish, has messed with the wrong set of artists today and was now in a tailspin and that the posting of Chronic Law video was a means of damage control in a bid to appease the six. Dancehall fans also made fun of the selector claiming that he was forced to remove the offensive post as he was likely roughed up by members of the Montego Bay based six camp. One person said lol so where the first video gone you not demote no more you are promote you confused brother. Puta it look like the six them gave a serious page for your take down the video with no questions asked. Some fans demanded to know whether the selector was in his right mind. Futa Hype, you know me a big fan from morning, but today it seems like something wrong with you. First, you post six in an uncomfortable situation and tag Beanie Man. Now you post up Chronicler and take back down Squash. You seem confused. But it was one person which evoked the biggest display of bravado from Futa after he posted the video. Coming like the six them page your dog. Look how fast you take down the Squash this video and big up Chronicler. Futa Hype responded and said, No six can page me. One human being upon the island me take talk from. Alright viewers and subscribers. So Futa Hype and I guess Squash I go back and forth at it right about now. And me never gonna say them I go back and forth at it. But I go kinda go on a little quick history of where we really go on. Because some of you might just a wonder where this has stem from. So Squash and Vibes Cartel did make a video name beat them bad. And you don't know say that video they did go on good, you see me? But in it it did have two girls, must say a kiss or a hug up or something. Two females was doing where it kinda low. So you know Futa Hype being the person that him is in where I burn out certain things, him take it up on him head and him start this up squash and them thing there and I guess squash must he put out a song and Futa Hype feel like a him, him do the song for, so Futa Hype put up that video then up on Instagram and basically I try to make squash look like a fish, Zane, I think I oh, squash and daddy one in the video, honestly, I not even want to play the video, some of you not supposed to know it, but just know say squash did in a little hallway and him kind of, you know, like maybe somebody did a pass or 
or something and squash kind of back up um pan the youth a certain way but you know in a jamaica them why everything so that automatically makes some people start why squash even though majority of the people them i say you know the man them are bridging and them not nah think nothing funny about that which i agree with that zine me see the video and yes the video might look shaky but at the same time the man them a move out of somebody where you can't really just a thing so smutty over something like that but anyway so footer i post the video him end up take it down and you know people are say yo squash people them page him or the six them people them page him now footer hype come address this seeing him go live because him feel like say people must take him for a clone or whatever so footer hype come live and him address this and he might make the people them know say no man in a six can page him because him links them heavy like that you see me and it kind of seem to to the way how footer hype are going like him really have some form of heavy links sit down pan because a whole heap of artists we see him this and him not get touched yet you see me a one artist alone me ever say come up and actually fight footer hype and a lexus you see what i say and footer hype did give lexus some decent lick of the dance there if you not go up on youtube and type in footer hype versus lexus you know we see the little brawl we may talk about but anyway so me i play the clip now and you can tell me what you think about where footer hype say so check this out six what about with me and the six them six them not do me nothing i write with everybody in a six except squash squash style me what there so me just style him back today i don't know me and him now have no, I don't know life and death situation but them style more than him go do song and a and a chew word and a go on with a bag of thing in a song so me get an opportunity for style him back so me just style him back i say go style for style i don't know like me and him a war or nothing but them go on like nobody can advise them opinion about them you see not them him in person you see me so, I just style him back with that video there. Because some ancestors them working now. You see me? Because them, them style and go out of that thing and do song. Zin and do song about. Style me up in a song, but I don't call me name, you know, but I know me my talk. So, today now, when my ancestors them make the video they come out, I just post it. Yeah. Remember, no people, no boy can't page me now. No man from six can't page me, nobody. I want somebody in a Jamaica me take talk from, and everybody know who that already. Yeah. I want one day get get somebody me take talk from in a Jamaica. Other people can reason with me, and if me feel like, me change my stance, but I want somebody me take talk from when them talk to me, me just do what them say. Because I'm a dad that I'm a general. So no boy can page me. I see some idiot that page a type of boy, boy from six. No man from six can page me. None. None. You hear that? But people, me not Chelsea Gray, Shanika Chelsea Gray look like them senior. Nobody, when you know you people are talking, not them not have to call your name, you know. Me not deal with that girl girl business there in a Virginia. Like me a girl, you know. A chew a chew a word, you know. You know me at that, me just call your name and make the world know say, are you and me at that? That's how we do it. You understand me, I say? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know, like, me and Squash are war physical, but them you definitely know, say, if you style up on the net, you're going to get style. I just style me in a song anywhere me see in a party, me just style up on the song. Because you sing music and me play music. So, style for style. I say, style it up. Start, 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 style it up. Have them girls for me khaki shea, ride it up. I just say thing, go man. I mean, footer hype say what him say, but me just never really rate the poster because you try to make the artist them look fishy. If it was like a direct video where, you know, never splice up on them thing that then him could have prove a point or whatever, but I mean, you try to set up the artist them. My understand say you and squash them now say eye to eye and squash even release a song named Bulla Head where I guess he might take shots at footer hype. So first Marlon Samuel's call him Spoonhead. Now, um, squash I call him Bulla Head. 
head. You know what I say? So, foot a hype, I don't know if it's a strategy where he might try, you know, make fully bad, go answer squash now if he kind of get a little hype. Because remember, you know, six them are going with them thing right about now. So, if squash if ever even respond to fully bad, that would have helped fully bad career so as me say i don't know if it's a strategy move foot a hyper use for kind of piss off squash you understand where him know say him is not a dj so foot a hyper now go go into the studio and go make a song but him will definitely make fully bad answer him or even one of them other artists him because remember with massacre you know massacre must have did this foot a hyper and what him do he make fully bad go so bops and make but boy i don't even know how much song he make for massacre but a couple well and up to this day fully bad still a true word and and send shots after massacre but guess what massacre not answer none of them so i don't think squash i got answer fully bad you understand what i say because fully bad now have nothing to lose from this in more again i fight but just leave in the comments and make me know where you think and where you think about the video with squash and honestly I don't feel like a footer hype should have. Yes, you know I say put out a video like that and then him a tag Beanie Man. You also a set up Beanie Man and I make it look like say, you know, team up against the artist. Them. Yes, you know I say just because Squash and um, Beanie Man did have the little fallout over summer season. You understand what I say, viewers and subscribers? But I don't know, footer hype take down the video and you know, hear what I'm saying. Nobody no page him and one man alone him take talk from and so forth. So I don't really know about me. Could watch and see we're going and also that song. Where squash do name bullet head is a song it sound good only can go check it out man a this up foot a hype wicked and attack some grimy things in it me like this song you see it sadly we have to go probably expect fully bad for answer for foot a hype if you don't get to me and say all right so moving on to spice and our whole foundation and you see me some people piss off spice and make sure go on bad so article says spice sounds warning says back to school treat not for those who wants it but those who need it Dancehall Queen Spice has urged people who can afford to buy back-to-school supplies for their children to stay away from her treat, which is planned for this Tuesday. Spice, who has been posting photos of several of the supplies, said that she is not afraid to lose friends as a result of her stance. If you can afford to buy the bag, leave it for people who can't, she said. Spice Back to School Treat will start at noon at the Marvelly Gospel Hall in St. Andrew. More than 500 children will benefit from this year's staging annual treat. In a post on social media, Spice has been getting calls from friends who are seeking to have her reserve particular items for their children. She has expressed disgust at the request. She made it clear that the persons who can afford to spend in such a manner are not the targets of her treat. Leave it for the people who can't afford it. Let my back to school go to people who really need it, she said. A video posted on her social media page last weekend shows the entertainer is far advanced in putting things together for the treat her living room was flooded with school supplies including high-end transport book and bags all right viewers and subscribers so i'm gonna run the video seeing where spice are telling the people them say them need for back off so check this out okay so i'm just making this little snap real quick for the people in the back okay let me just say this loud and clear and not even the people in the back. May I say to my friend, them where I call me and I say, Oh, I want that bag. I'm a wonder bag for my daughter. I'm a wonder bag for my son. When me and you know you can't afford to buy the bag. I'm going to lose a lot of friends this Tuesday for my back to school giveaways. Because to be honest, if you can afford to buy the bag, leave it for the people who can't. Okay? Me and you know, say if you can buy a Brazilian ear, if you can do certain little things, you know, Brazilian ear costly. And if you can take up 100 and odd toes and buy a Brazilian ear and fix up and go out with yourself, you can afford to buy a bag for school. Okay? So leave it for the people who can't afford it. Let my back to school go to people who really, really need it. And I mean it. When you think about where Spice has said, when I feel like say Spice is being too harsh and so-called friends because I have to call them so-called friends. I know why I say so. If you, Zine, can't afford to do certain things, why you would have want Spice to put on things for your kids them, and you can't afford it? If you can't afford it, that's cool. But we all know say we have that type of friends or we know them type of people in life. If you have a business, them no want to support you. Know, them want to come and get things free. Now Spice has do something good for the children 
children them Zinka in the article it say 500 kids supposed to get things from spice and so forth in a zine so why people would have want to come and say yo put down that for my son and put down that for my daughter you understand me i say kind of unfair so me definitely don't blame spice for act the way how she act jamaican people them like to take more than give you understand and we don't see how things steer there's so much single mothers in jamaica right now and some of them yes some of them now work because them lazy but you also have some way to try and you know them barely can afford things so them people they can go seek help from spice nothing wrong with that but you also have the other set of people them we can afford everything but them just want to save their money and go get things free from spice and guess what the money where them would have take spend for buy bags and things them go buy hair and put in them go buy new clothes them go buy new shoes you know you have the woman them out there where love them type of thing they understand me I say so any chance them get at that are the first thing them are going to do so at them people the spice are burn out and me have a retard for that as me say people me respect spice and me just love how she try to do things you see me popcorn is another brother where I do things for the kids them you see me me have a big up popcorn as well me have a big up shaggy me have a big up pampute you see me have a few artists out there where actually I give back to the youths them in a Jamaica and even helping the mothers them so my rate them artists are where think about you know they did the upcoming of the youths because remember say the youths them are the future you know so if you can make the youths them grow up then the future of jamaica is doomed and you have to look out for your country and the youths them just like you would have look out for your own kids them you see me but i want to leave in the comments and make me know when you think about what spice i say if you don't blame her or if you don't feel like say you know she make a good choice of losing friends because some people feel like say you can't do without them you know like if you don't have no friends you go drop down or if you don't have no friends you see me your life will go worse but sometime in life me learn this you see when you have less friends it better for you trust me upon that because sometimes you don't even know where people are say behind your back and you may talk good things about them and you feel like they are good friends but guess what them just out forget things from you and use your name for, for, for you know just for right on the wave where you have and stuff like that but and spice nobody make people make you run up your blood pressure and nobody make people drain your energy continue to do the good work you know what I say father god bless you if you make it pan love and hip hop if you get award and you understand what I say things are going for you so when you give back your blessings are going to multiply so much and that's all my officer anyway moving on to the last topic now so Aishana Masika and Futa Hype. So the article says Aishana Black Masika and Futa Hype on Instagram. Aishana got a hefty blacklist under her belt. The dancehall entertainer showed off her lengthy blacklist on Instagram with fans Friday, which featured Futa Hype and Masika. It's no surprise that Aishana ex fiance slash baby daddy is blocked from viewing her page. However, it seems Aishana finally removed him. Futa Eye placement suggested that he got blocked around a week ago, which would coincide with his harsh comments following Aishana Pride JA booking. As for Masika, he got blocked a few days ago, and dancehall fans are puzzled as to why the equal rights singer cut ties with the genocide DJ. Dancehall acts are not shy to use the black option on social media. It's often said that you can find yourself being blocked for a simple as like in a comment directed at the artist. Stars like Spice, Shensia and Jada Kingdom are known for being serial blockers. However, it seems Aishana could give them a run for their money with the list she posted. Alright people, so when you see the list where Aishana post, a whole heap of people she black and I mean she a female so this not really surprise me and even she blocking footer hype not surprise me but uh, the thing with Masika kind of surprised me but when you remember this picture here with Masika and um, Aishana, I think it was his birthday when she wished him happy birthday and everybody started speculating to them did in a dealing zine. When me see she removed that picture or when me realized it not dip on her Instagram no more, me kind of figure says something was up. But you know, say you can't do, you understand, you can't do settings where you're not sure about. But now that you see him on the blacklist, you kind of wonder why she black him. But she not going to get a reason for that, but we only can speculate. And I feel like say, maybe it's just something personal maybe you know something does go wrong man and woman thing because as me say we hear say they were in a relationship so i think that's just the whole thing now with footer hype we know say you know she the black footer hype over the whole pride thing if 
even though me did actually think she did block him before. A matter of fact, she did block him, but look like she did unblock him. And then now, because him go run him out and this or she re block him again. You understand the message of viewers and subscribers, which means say uh, maybe she did kind of open for give foot a hyper chance, but because him go say certain things about she performing at that pride event. Um, and when I say, hold on, when I say give him a chance, I mean actually talk to him because right now they're not they speaking terms. So now she block him again, you know, say I hate that, you know what I say, but I could see what going to happen now. I could see Futa Hype going to respond to this because people are tagging him on the blacklist, not on her page because obviously if she block him, he wouldn't be able to see it, but other pages are post it and, you know, Futa Hype get tagged and so forth. So I could see if him going to come and rant about this or, you know, if him not really care, even though my I feel like him not really care because if him did care, him probably wouldn't say certain things about her. And I mean, it is what it is. Man and woman thing are baby father and baby mother thing. What well, if you just see them thing, then just know say ups and downs are got daddy. And you know, I just life anyway. Viewers and subscribers, comment and make me know where anything about Aisha and a blocking massacre and also blocking footer hype. If you don't feel like she, you know, she's being petty or if you don't blame her for black footer hype after how him style her up from the Pride JA thing. Also, leave in the comments on footer hype and yes, they made the squash feud where I go on her the little video where footer hype put out. I should have said, make me know where anything about that and also spice disrespecting some of the people them where try get things free from our grace hamilton foundation you see me and also viewers and subscribers remember if you go follow me on facebook i'm gonna put the link in the comment section so just give me a like no man go over there and like the page and share it and make your friends and family them know about it they don't know some I post videos over there when i go post on mix up time so a different things you're not gonna see over there so just support the thing anyway viewers and subscribers have a blessed day one love